it's me again on the DPS Pagoda Pist 100. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's my first ride and experience on DPS ski ever. Uh, my first thought when I get in the chairlift, so I really feel that this ski is really light and you don't have a lot of swing weight. And when I get in the muggle, it just revealed that, that. So this is DPS's pieced ski. Not something that we've seen from DPS a whole lot. I was trying to figure this ski out as I do when I usually get on a ski for the first time, that it didn't take me long to figure out where I need to place myself on the ski. In other words, this ski has tremendous applications. I would say for a lot of skiers intermediate expert advanced you can get on the ski underfoot you can get on the ski in the tip you can get on the tail the ski will react <laughs> to your input so yeah and on the carving is because we don't have a lot of fodder today uh it's it's a long radius so it's not too demanding it's well yeah the ending is quite good so the i didn't it didn't chatters and it's really like i i really like them this ski is, is new for, for DPS. Pagoda uh, stands for the construction that they use, and the construction uh, has a lot to do with um, layered um, uh, cores on top of one another that create a ski that is, for DPS, a lot more substantial than what they're used to without, without actually um, any downsides in regards to weight penalties. Um, it's... It's surprising. I actually had a uh, little bit of a preconceived notion about these skis that they'd be kind of light, kind of flimsy, and I was very wrong. This thing grips on ice. I was really surprised how well it held an edge. It really, um, it really was able to grab in like any carving ski that you would expect. I just could not believe how they reacted to everything I put into the ski. Wherever it was on the hill, whenever I made an application, sitting back, leaning forward on top of my feet the ski was always there you like uh, your mantra m5s but uh, you don't like fighting with them if you want a peace ski that's super easy but yet still is a peace ski and doesn't have a lot of downsides um, pagoda uh, at dps but it's absolutely still a free ride all mountain ski it uh it worked as a front side ski incredibly well it held an edge i was very surprised at that but this is a ski that I would feel comfortable taking on the front side, on the back side. It, it has the float, it has the width to it, but yeah, it really held an edge and it felt smooth in the turns. It felt grippy. It felt like I could dig right in. I could get low. It wasn't fighting me. It was rolling over on edge really nicely. Powder to crud to ice to powder to groom, and you get that same experience throughout. That's what's really nice about it. And the, and, and the Pagoda, Piece is kind of like that ski. It allows you to ski in a varying range of conditions with um, with some level of, of, uh, of confidence because, I mean, really, not everybody wants to fight their ski and some people want hard charging skis that are easy. This is, a, this is it. This is a hard charging ski. It's easy to ski on. It's super light, so old joints enjoy it. Um, and it's a ski that you can ski front side, back side, like Amy said, all around. Um, we're skiing it in a 179, uh, I could ski it longer or I could ski it in the 179. Uh, it, it's a ski that has a wide range of applications, but um, something that DPS needed in their line. No chatter. No chatter. And no loosey-goosey on the runs. I tried to swivel out, yeah. but it said, no, 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 get back, get back on the edge. It just stayed there. Nice. I'm, a, I'm an Eastern bred skier and I believe that um, you know, I like to put a ski on edge and I believe that a good ski has to ski well on ice or, uh, because it's easy to make a ski that skis well on, on soft snow. But the, there's a secret. What they've done here is um, make a ski that skis really well on groomed snow. I jump a lot with them and uh, yeah, it is really light. So you don't feel that you have an heavy weight. And as I mean, when you land, it doesn't chatter or vibrate so long. So they, they are ready for the next turn. So that's, that's a really interesting ski. Yeah, I love it. This is quite the uh, all mountain ski, very front side oriented, but I would not be shy to take this onto the backside. Even in some slack country, it would definitely hold up. So you get on this ski and you um, instantly, the first thing that comes to mind, you kind of go, 
Okay, I see it's a DPS. It feels like a DPS, but it's holding an edge like a Mantra M5. Best. This is the best. You I think, think this so? is the best you can get for the money. Really? Absolutely.